Good morning, boys and girls. Cap guys going out to yard sale. We'll show you some footage today and what's sold on Sunday from Friday. And today will be shown tomorrow. And hey, yeah, that's it. Thanks for the new subs. And we pick, we're going to pick up some today, of course, because Cap Guy talks to everybody. Hey, that's how you grow the channel. Yeah, that's right. You better find me some clothes, too. I will, I will, I promise. All right. Well, he's heading out, y'all. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Better find me some clothes, doggone it. I always wanted to see what a curio was like. Oh, that was awesome. We hadn't wrapped it. That was on the Constellation. Yeah, yeah we hadn't wrapped it with that one. Uh, forest stall. See, I, I escorted the forest stall on my first shift to the med. Did you? And then I made a Westpac on the Constellation. Yeah, did it? All I can tell you is I'm still fighting because they said I wasn't a numb. So, 55 years, I'm still fighting my gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to. I just got my VA last, uh, last year. Did you really? Yeah. And I mean, I'm not. Texas, so. uh, he is, he's a Texas Longhorn fan, anymore. too. Oh, I'm from Austin. I know. That's ridiculous. Oh, well, nice. That, their son's name's Austin. They named their son Austin. Um, yeah, we have an ugly OU bear. I thought it was just oh, get that stop. away. Oh, stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> and it's That's hard to find Texas right? stuff here, no, though. I, I, mean, I like to buy what he likes, and I have a hard time finding stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you find it every now and then. Still might be worth something to somebody. Yeah. These sales just. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's been quiet. Would you do 50 cents a piece? How much is this? A quarter. Okay. I'll throw it in there too. And that half. Here, four dollars. Okay. You just keep track. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm good. How about the tripod? A quarter? <laughs> what is that? Another quarter? Yeah. No, no, no. It's a looks like a phone case. Is that what that is? Quite oh. These? Oh. Now I know what this is worth. Mm -hmm. They're about eighteen hundred dollars an ounce. <laughs> but that ain't what that is. Dang it. Look at them. Oh, that's one of them. Nice. Picture oh my goodness. That's an Elmo Big Bird? Uh, it is. And it sings the chicken song. I don't want like to be a chicken dance song. I just want to chicken, but, uh, uh, uh. but yeah, that works. I remember all that stuff at the, uh, oh, yeah. at the club, and that's when I didn't get on the What's dance floor. What's this, honey? It's not a so bobbin. That, oh, it's it a hypertoxic. Like that yellow ball is the same thing. It tells you what color it is. It's supposed to be a hand Somebody likes Jim Croce. About 1973, on the way down to Central America to help earthquake victims. Yeah, he's down in Queen Craig. I was a kid.
one Jim Croce can have a more money. Called oh, memory. It's worth about twenty bucks. How are you selling it? Go ahead. So I do what? Guy went out and got me this silly hat. Ugh. Vintage football helmet. It ain't even vintage. I think it's a remake. 50 cent, it better be. Or else you hit a home run. Anyway, we are ready for some football, aren't we? Yeah, Big 12's going to play. And uh, unlike the Big 10 and Pac-12, you bunch of wusses. Yeah, you guys, Merv from Texas. That that That's where men are men. And we ain't going to say nothing else. Yeah, you might lose me some people on that one. Well, we don't mean to do that, but anyway, you got me this hat. You give me some clothes? No, no, I looked. What? I'm going to Walmart later. I don't want no Walmart brand. I want some Gucci. And you ain't getting no Gucci. Uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, Brooks Brothers, Vineyard Vines. Well, you know all your brands. Yeah, we're not. I'm not getting that, huh? No. All right, we're gonna show you what we sold. It's the Cap Guy Show. That's this guy, and I'm JT. We're in Oklahoma. And we want to thank Debbie and Clarissa and Spencer for subscribing to the channel. They live here in Yukon, too. Welcome. And I hope you learned something. I hope everybody learned something. But now we're going to show you what he spent for $147. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's hot. It's hot and humid. I did find this, and I picked it up for $0.50 cents at that sale where Debbie, Clarissa, and Spencer uh, subscribed to my channel. And... Um, I don't know. It's a it's a vintage looking helmet, but it's not a real vintage helmet. I promise you. If it was, it'd be worth a lot of money. And I'm not going to do this again in no particular order. I'm going to show you what sold yesterday and today, tomorrow when I'll have time. I don't have time today because I'd make the video too long. And we do have some garage sale footage today. So I paid three dollars for this. This is a rival grind a mat. I paid uh, three dollars for this, and it's in really good condition in the box. It comps out at about $20, $25, so make a little bit of money there. At the same sale where Debbie, Clarissa, and Spencer were, we got two Monopoly games, paid $2 a piece. This is Monopoly City, and paid $2, and that comps at about $25 to $30. And the same with this one. There you go. $2, and they are complete. They said they checked them last night, and I like it when people check their stuff. Got this hat for $0.50. Cents. Man, we better do this. Yeah. Hi, I'm Garth Brooks. I got friends in... Never mind. Put that back on so y'all can't see my wet hair. Oh, what else? Paid uh, $3 for this. And these are $79.95 speakers in the box. High tech. And... I comp these. These are about sixty dollars now, um, so I'll check them out and make sure. But three dollars, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those. He also had some Fisher Sears brand speakers, and some of those go for one hundred and fifty or so dollars. But I took the covers off, and there was rotting in the in the speakers themselves, and I just didn't want to take a chance. They were wood cabinet ones, and they're vintage, but I just didn't want to do that. So I got these for a quarter piece, and I haven't even looked at them yet. So I'm gonna run through them real quick with you. Um, a bunch of uh, eight tracks. I keep buying eight tracks. I need to sell more than I'm buying. Um, Mickey Finn and Big Tiny Little uh, Honky Tonk Piano. And most of these are going to be better than that. Engelbert Humperdinck. After the Lovin'. Christy Lane. That's uh, Christy Music, I believe. Eagles. There you go. The Long Run. Linda Ronstadt. Again, quarter piece. And I know I saw some good ones. Here's a, one of my favorite bands. America from the 70s. Sister Golden Hair. The best of Bachman Turner Overdrive. Here's Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle. Fly Like an Eagle. There you go. There's Thriller, Michael Jackson, a quarter. Hot dog. I'm going to mix this up. Ronald McDonald, 1990. No, 1980. Looks like a Frisbee. Uh, 
the Mills Brothers. Pat Benatar, I actually have this one in my inventory right now. And then Jerry Vale, Alone Again, Naturally. That's not, uh, so, uh, Gilbert O'Sullivan did that song originally. And then I got a bunch of, I won't show you all of them, but these are all 80s and 70s little Disney figures. And there's some better ones than that. And I gave basically a couple bucks for the bag, but there are a bunch of little Disney figures and there's a ton of them. And I did not comp these again because for a couple of dollars, I'll take my chances on the value of that stuff. I picked up this for $10, Friday Night Lights, the complete series. I've never, I've seen the movie and I actually lived in Dallas when Dallas Carter beat Odessa Permian in 1988. But, um, I have never seen the TV series. Um, here's another one of Memories on 8-Track. Patty Page. Oops. Well, there was Patty Page. Glenn Miller. And again, a lot of these I didn't even look up because I was just grabbing. He had a lot of vintage stuff, but some of it I just didn't want to mess with. Here's some more Mills Brothers. And some of these may not be that valuable now that I look at them. 50 Golden Years, although I do like that music. Uh, Andy Williams and a Christmas one and I got this Hard Rock Cafe one it's pretty cool it says um, no drugs or nuclear weapons allowed Hard Rock Cafe and I don't know how old that is but I think it's pretty old because he had a lot of old stuff there's Jerry Lewis Telethon I used to enjoy watching that I, I'm sure those of you that remember it did too um, two more eight tracks, Barbara Streisand and the best of Wayne King. Never heard of it. And I know music pretty well. All right. Next up, I found, I found the ghost cub who later turned into the dire wolf on Ghost of uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones. So I'll be keeping him probably. I haven't comped him, but I gave 50 cents for him. So I gave, uh. 50 cents for this Winston vintage uh, koozie. It's pretty cool. And I gave 50 cents for this, and this is going to be at least a $20 to $30 hat. Texas Instruments, and there's none like it on eBay. There are some TI hats, but none like this. And the foam and everything is intact. 50 cents. Um, yeah, I'm almost tempted to keep that. I, I need to get a TI-84 calculator with it. That would probably really enhance the value. Um... 50 cents for this is a youth thunder hat, Adidas, and anything Adidas I like, but I'll probably end up giving that to my grandson. Uh, Lula Row, not Lula Lemon, but their new um, PJ bottom, or uh, I'm sorry, leggings for $2. And I know Lula Row isn't as good as Lula Lemon, but for that amount of money, I'll do it. And then I picked up, uh, this is just a lens cleaner. I grabbed that for a quarter. I got this for a quarter. USS Alabama BB-60, and this is probably like a, when you do the tour, you get the hat, but again, it's a memory, so somebody will want it. And then I got, it's just an arm thing for a quarter, Belkin, and I'm trying to put this stuff where it won't fall. Um, here's another one that's an iPhone uh, thing that I paid a quarter for, Survivor. And nothing to do with the movie or the show. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a mountable guitar thing, and you saw I got that guitar yesterday. By the way, I comped that guitar. It is about a eighty to a hundred dollar guitar, and I paid I think maybe three four dollars for it. Um, this is a little four inch tripod, and I'm sure that'll come in handy again. A quarter, and I don't mind spending a quarter on anything. And then I got a ton of these. There's probably I paid three dollars for the box and i shouldn't be buying this stuff but i do it is a bunch of winter circle and other hot wheels brand new in the package there's probably and i don't want my eyes to get big but i bet there's 30 in here for three dollars and i think these are pretty yeah this is 1998 dale earnhardt senior um here's another one 
And again, I haven't I haven't comped any of them. Here's another Dale Earnhardt. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a that's a nice little collectible there. And I'll show you a couple more. For three bucks for the bo the box, she wanted a quarter piece. She said, but I, but before I could say anything, she said I'll do three dollars for the whole box. And that was towards the end of the day, so she was willing to get rid of stuff. And then after we left, we actually took a wrong turn, went back in there, and there were more people than. There weren't any yard sale I'd seen, so I'm glad we got there before she did. Or they did. Um, another ball cap. This is a Cardinals Major League cap for a buck. It is new era, and it is fitted. It is seven and a half. And it's kind of a special design on there. It's kind of cool. I got this one, and I don't know the name brand, but I'm going to look it up. It was only 50 cents, and it's Kira. But it was from the same sale where I bought the coach yesterday for all those big bucks. And I went back and she had two more items that I had passed on yesterday and I decided to get them. One is this Billabong hoodie for $3. And it's got the stuff on the side. And I've seen other people pick up Billabong. I think Rally Roots and Drifter Thrifters, they pick that stuff up. But for $3, I will grab that all day long. And then I passed on this one yesterday and you can see the fur on the hoodie, it's pretty cool. But I passed on it, and I, today I didn't, and it was $3. It's IMAX, and you can see all the designs, and it's really nice. Uh, it's a woman's kind of ski jacket, and I guess, uh, from what I understand, it sells for over $100. So, I don't know. We'll find out. But for $3, I'm taking my chances. Even if I sell that for $30 or $40, i will be good. And what else? I got these for $5, they're uh, Bluetooth headphones. I got this for $5, and I know that's worth more than $5. I actually have something similar to this that I use to trim my facial hair. And then I got a bunch of games for $3 a piece. They had these for five. Uh, they're all Xbox One. This one has the metal case, and I didn't comp the value on all of them, but some of them I did. Um, I'm trying to get to them here. And again, I'll go over my sales tomorrow because if I do, I'll, I'll it'll take too much time. Battlefield 5 on Xbox One, $3. Borderlands, $3. Uh, that's three, uh, 360, and that's actually a decent game. The orange box, I didn't know what it was, but that was there. Inquisition. And then I bought some series they wanted um, $5 per, and I got the entire Mad Men series, and I like to get the complete series. That way I can sell them as a, as a whole lot. Um, I got these for $10 for the whole series, and they wanted five a piece. So I got those, and then I also got, well, I know I know they got a series. Oh, Friday Night Lights, never mind. I got Luigi, and I just got him because I like that kind of stuff. And then I got a bunch of clothes. I got 50 cents a piece. This is a Rose Bowl. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a Texas, yeah, Rose Bowl National Championship shirt. And I gave, like I said, 50 cents a piece. This is not probably real valuable, but $10, $12. Carrie Underwood Tour 2016. Um, again, not nothing crazy, but there's a Carrie Underwood fan out there that'll want it. Um, anytime you get a Jordan for 50 cents, you grab it. Most of these are XLs. Um, this one could be decently value. It's a t-shirt, but it's Cardinals, but it's a Hall of Famer. Mr. Ozzie Smith, shortstop. And by the way, I had to correct myself yesterday on Yastrzemski. He played for the Red Sox. I'm a Ranger fan. That's probably why I said it, but I know he played for the Red Sox. I actually saw him, uh, at the end of his career in Oakland. Um... Pokemon, and it's not vintage, though. I wish it was. And a couple pair of shorts. One is Dallas Cowboys. And I'm not sure if those are my size or not. If not, they're close. I just need to lose some weight, I guess. And then uh, these are KDs. And again, 50 cents. I'll sell those. And, oh, and two pair of shoes. I'll just show you one of each of these. 
<sighs> this is uh, New Balance. He said these were $70 shoes and he only wore them once and he didn't like them. Uh, he wanted eight. I got them for five. And then I got these for four. And these are Steve Madden's. And these are in really good condition too, women's shoes. So $4 for the Steve Madden's, five for the New Balance. So on the day I spent about $143. And um, hey, I'll turn that into some money, I assure you. And I uh, went through the match boxes yesterday, or the match books yesterday. There's a lot of old restaurants and um, some uh, advertising ones, banks and cafes. And a lot of these places, I can tell, they're 50s, 40s. They don't exist anymore. So I looked them up, and there are some that go for decent money. I'll bundle a lot of those in, in like-type situations. There was some from, like, Yellowstone and um, those kind of places and, uh, you know, uh, amusement places and Kip's Big Boy a lot of tobacco ones, which is kind of cool since you don't see that anymore. So we'll see. Um, I did get a note also this morning from somebody don't want me to sell the Teddy Ruxpin and it's actually a Teddy Ruxpin YouTube channel. Um, she said that people abuse them and burn them and tear them up and stuff. And of course I responded that first I wanted to go, I, I want to, of course I'm going to make money, but it's not worth that much, maybe $35. And I paid seven. Um, I wanted to have a home where it's going to be cherished. It's not going to be cherished in my home. Um, so I wanted to go to a home where they're going to cherish it, maybe share it with their kids or grandkids. That's what I'm doing this for, partly besides the money. And I wanted to find a home where somebody's going to take care of it. I hope somebody's not going to buy it and, and abuse it. That's, that's for sure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for the new subscribers, Spencer, uh, Debbie and, uh, Clarissa. <laughs> and, uh, Everybody else is subscribed. I appreciate it. I appreciate you viewing it. Run your video on view. Let it run. Check out some of my old videos. Um, JT and I usually have a lot more fun than we did today. We're just kind of rushed, trying not to make this a two, two million year video. And uh, we make one every day, and I'll have one in the morning, and I make one every morning except for Fridays and Saturdays when I'm yard selling. And then I make one later in the day, as you know. So, again, thanks to everybody. I appreciate you all. And we're trying to teach you how to make money. There's a lot of money in this if you're just willing to put in the work. So have a great day. And the Cap Guy and JT, we will talk to you tomorrow as we always do. Okay, I forgot one thing that I bought. I bought a set of dumbbells, a set of 15s rubber-coated and a set of 25s rubber-coated. Paid 50 for all of them. The 25s alone comp at about 120, 130. And the other are going to be close to 100. And they're the high-end kind of dumbbells. So those would be some good money, but I forgot to mention them in my original video, and that's part of that $143. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.